In this video, we're gonna be going over the top five low carb tortilla hacks that we use on our ketogenic lifestyle. And if you're new here, my twin sister Sarah and I have been following a technically keto lifestyle since January of 2019, and we've lost over 160 pounds. And on our channel, we love trying and testing recipes for all of you. I think that low carb tortillas definitely changed the game for us on our keto lifestyle because they are so versatile and there's so many good brands of low carb tortillas out on the market today. I know we used to love the mission zero net carb tortillas, mm -hmm. but now we really love the hero zero net carb tortillas because it gives us like a buttery flaky mm -hmm. crust whenever we use it. But there's a lot of different options when it comes to low carb tortillas and you can even make your own. We have made several, but Sarah and I just love the convenience of buying low carb tortillas in bulk bulk and storing them in our freezer. And Sarah and I typically have them a couple times a week. We like to call ourselves technically keto because we're really relaxed about the way that we do keto. We like to incorporate things like low carb tortillas, low carb bread, and all these special treats to make it exciting for us and sustainable for us. Because in the past, Sarah and I would go off the deep end when we couldn't have what we wanted and we would gain everything back and more. So low carb tortillas are a staple in our household. We always have them on hand. And if you guys want to check out the hero ones that we buy in bulk, we can leave a link in the description below and a coupon code. So in this video, like we said, we're going to be talking about the first, what? Yeah. Oh. So in this video, I like to look at you sometimes. Oh, ew. So we thought in this video, we would just go over our top five favorite things that we've ever done with low carb tortillas so that maybe you could get some inspiration for your meals this week. Good to best. Yes. So number five, number five is going to be using low carb tortillas as pizza crusts. And this is one of the first videos that we ever did on our channel actually that was cooking related. It was using Mission low carb tortillas, but we'd probably use Hero now to make keto pizza crusts. I was making these tortilla pizzas for my husband as a quick and easy lunch during the pandemic. And they just became a staple in our household ever since. So pretty much what you do is take a tortilla, a low carb tortilla, and you put um, olive oil or avocado oil on both sides, fry it up in a pan. And that way you're gonna get a nice crispy crust and kind of create a barrier to put your toppings on. That's the thing, tortillas are kind of like raw. Yeah, you I didn't have, know that either. Yeah, me either. <laughs> People use them in wraps and it's almost like gummy if right. you don't well, cook it. And in fact, the hero tortillas they're like extremely soft. Mm -hmm. I think that's a good thing when you plan to like cook them more. Mm -hmm. You can like really shape the hero tortillas to what you want them to be. Mm -hmm. And that's what we talk about in this video. All you have to do is cook it on both sides till it's nice and brown. And then you can add your toppings. Rayo's pizza sauce is something that we always do all the time. And then some mozzarella cheese, pepperonis, black olives. I mean, there's so many different keto friendly pizza toppings. That's not really the issue there. Pop it under the broiler, which unfortunately my broiler's at the, the bottom. bottom of my oven. <laughs> People really reason. find that yeah. odd. I didn't pick it, okay? It was there <laughs> when I moved into my house. Some tips that came out recently is that you could do a double layer of tortillas mm -hmm. and you put some cheese on the inside and then you fry it up kind of like a quesadilla and then you build your pizza on top of it. That would make like a really more substantial thing. Of course, you're gonna be eating double up carbs right. with that. Another trick that we saw on TikTok that we haven't gotten to try yet, but I really was like, oh, that's a genius idea. Uh, someone was taking like mozzarella sticks and outlining the outside of a tortilla and then kind of like rolling the tortilla over it. And so it made like mm. a stuffed crust tortilla shell. So you could do that with like a mozzarella stick. Right, mozzarella sticks on the outside of the tortilla. You fold it over and you kind of stick a toothpick in it to hold it down. You might have to do that in a video. And um, yeah, maybe I'll include like the TikTok where I <laughs> saw that. It's just so versatile. Right. Using it as a pizza crust. Definitely one of our favorite tortilla hacks. Please. Sarah and I are having a little bit of a crisis looking back at these videos because it doesn't seem like we've been uploading for this, four years. Yeah, the last video was from 2020. This video is also from 2020. And so now it's 2024 and we're just like, how did we get here? I don't know. So the next way that we use low carb tortillas in our keto lifestyle is we like to use the viral 2020 pandemic tortilla hack. This was a cool way to incorporate a layered sandwich into people's lifestyles during the pandemic. And it took me a while to figure out how to <laughs> fold it. I tried many times, but the idea is, is that you cook up a low carb tortilla and then you fill it and each layer has a different filling in it and it just makes a perfect little pocket, a little bundle of joy. Mm, kind of like origami with a <laughs> tortilla, if you will. And the one that we made was actually like a Philly cheesesteak style sandwich with steak, 
onions and peppers and mayo and it was super provolone. delicious provolone cheese and all you do is kind of flip it over and you have this little pocket of wonderfulness and i actually made it like into a egg sandwich too right. with scrambled eggs bacon and uh sauce in there like a hot sauce and it was super good so it's very versatile i made a chicken florentine mm. version oh you did yeah you get some thinly sliced chicken breast in one layer and then you have like a red onion jam mm. in another layer mayo tons of mayo green spinach green spinach spinach as opposed to brown spinach yeah or purple <laughs> spinach no. that's a million dollar sandwich yeah we, we made actually, it with chaffles yeah. before but um the tortilla hack would be good you never made me that <laughs> you must have made that at home by yeah, yourself i did make it at home the possibilities are endless with the tortilla hack breakfast lunch dinner even dessert why not throw some cream cheese and some strawberries in there and fry it up mm. yum so is this number three or number three it's five, five four three <laughs> <laughs> okay, number three, using low net carb tortillas as lasagna sheets. This was something that Sarah and I painstakingly did. We decided to try three different methods, three different ways, and three different products. And we really wanted to not like the tortilla one. Mm. Because a lot of people give us a lot of slack for using low carb tortillas. And you know what, whatever, this is my <laughs> life. I really wanted to like the palmini noodles better. Or what was the other one? Egg life wraps. Or egg life wraps. I didn't. I like the hero ones. To me, they gave like the perfect chewy. like chewy bite that I wanted in a lasagna. I felt like the other ones, the palmini, I liked it. It was good. It's just very vegetal tasting. Like, you cannot compare it. If you watch that video, you'll see me struggle with the order <laughs> of putting the lasagna actually together because the woman that wrote the instructions was actually very specific. I never have actually followed instructions on how to layer a lasagna before. So that was fun. I really almost lost my mind. Well, it was not even your fault. We were dealing with three different types of lasagna noodle as well. Sometimes we have a very simple idea and then we decide to do it. Why don't we just make, make this as hard as possible? Because we like to test out multiple different things. That's what we do here, but it doesn't make it simple. It just sometimes makes it really confusing. <laughs> So yeah, definitely one of our favorite applications. So number two was actually using a keto friendly or low carb tortilla as a base to make garlic bread. It sounds similar to the pizza hack, but it was really, really delicious. And we actually uh, cooked it in the air fryer instead. So if you guys do not want to cook it in an oven or under a broiler, the air fryer, it did something different. To Magical. The, yeah, it really did make it buttery and crispy. We used a compound butter as the base and then a layer of cheese and it was just melty. It really did remind me of like a cheesy garlic bread that you would get from an Italian yeah. restaurant or Little Caesars or wherever you get that from. <laughs> I used to buy the Domino's cheesy bread and oh, eat the entire yeah, thing by those myself. Are those are dangerous. This yeah. kind of reminded me of that. We put a little bit of parsley on top. Oh, it was absolutely delicious. You know what I like about that is that you could add other things to make it more protein heavy too. Right. It doesn't need to be just like bread and cheese. You know how you get those Domino's? It's like half, not even half, more. Bread more than cheese. bread than cheese. You can get yourself really filled up on keto friendly stuff by packing it onto a low carb tortilla. It was so good and it was recent. We recently made this like maybe a month ago, month and a half ago. We made it two months October ago 20th. and I still remember how buttery and oily and delicious it was. So we're gonna be leaving a link to all these videos in the description below. If you click more underneath the video player, you'll expand the description and you can see all the links having to do with us. And they should probably label it description but they don't yeah. they just write more and you click more so our number one favorite way to use tortillas is going to be the samosa hack it was just mind-blowing <laughs> And my husband ate multiple <laughs> of our samosas that we made. The tortilla just held up so well, the hero tortilla specifically, to being fried and being sealed like a pocket. Mm -hmm. And once we really found out how to seal it with the xanthan gum, I just feel like it just elevated the dish so much. And um, he just was screaming from upstairs being like, delicious. And I was just so really happy that he enjoyed it. Delicious. delicious. My husband just had one, he said delicious. So. <laughs> Mm. I think we have a winner here. We made a cilantro dipping sauce, um, which I know triggered some people because some people, they literally have like a genetic profile that doesn't really? allow them to like cilantro. I love cilantro. 
Yeah. But it was um, a really, really surprisingly good dish. And Sarah and I, we like to subscribe to the mentality of add way more protein to make your carbs go longer. You know, a samosa could be kind of small or you could make it jumbo. One tortilla could make two really big substantial samosas. And so you get the feeling of eating like a really mm -hmm. indulgent meal that's not low carb. And all you're doing is eating one tortilla. I love that. I mm -hmm. love adding more. Like Sarah and I actually did this with stuffing a while back. We used a low net carb brioche roll to make stuffing for Thanksgiving and we added so much more meat mm -hmm. into it. We only ended up maybe using one little bun worth of stuffing per serving and that gave you the feeling of eating a lot of stuffing but truthfully you're eating mostly meat right. with a little bit of bread in it. And so that's kind of a trick that we use. Add more protein and less of, of the, the actual carbs. carbs right. right. So maybe we'll do a runner's up now. <laughs> a runner up category um, for me will be the smash burger tortilla hack. It was something that my husband requested multiple times the following week um, with the sauce that we made. Oh, it was just divine. I love it. <laughs> mm. And if I had to add one, it would be using the tortillas as enchiladas. Mm, yes. Uh, we haven't made that in a while, but I used to make that once or twice a month and I would always bring over a whole tray to Sarah's house. It really does heat up well the next day. I usually really stuff the um, enchiladas pretty heavily mm -hmm. with either chicken or ground beef, green chili, you put the sauce on top, you add sour cream, sliced jalapenos, mm -hmm. whatever you want on top. And we also serve it alongside some cauliflower rice to bulk up the meal mm. a lot to have like tomato paste in it and a lot of spices that's like one of my favorite meals ever isn't that what you normally use tortillas for in that though yeah normally. so it's a it's not a groundbreaking recipe or right it's, it's not groundbreaking <laughs> but it's one of my favorite yeah. ways to utilize low carb tortillas so we hope you guys enjoyed our favorite ways to utilize keto friendly low carb tortillas in our lifestyle please subscribe we would love to hit 250,000 subscribers in 2024 or 2025 or ever yeah ever so yeah, please subscribe if you guys want more keto lifestyle content. And if you guys want to see our favorite way to use keto friendly low carb tortillas, which is the samosa, you're going to click on the video on the screen and we'll see you over there. You don't want to miss this one. Anyway, I'm Sarah. And I'm Emily. And, and we, we are the Keto, keto Twins, Twins signing, signing out. out. Now I want a samosa. Yeah. I'll go home and make it. Okay. <laughs> no, I'll go home and make it and then eat it. <laughs> the same I'll, I'll call you on FaceTime and be like, look what I She's made. She's so mean to me.